So what do I do? Just like, um, pick up a ball and start talking about it. Hi, I'm Creed. These are a couple of my boards. This board is a Matt Manners design. He's uh, from Margaret River where I grew up in West Oz. Um, he's the father of Sean Manners and uh, he's a really good, good guy and a really good shaper. I used to ride his boards when I was younger and stuff. And I rode this board in the latest Rage movie, Rage 3. And it went really fun in Indo, and then also in West Oz as well. As you can see, I've surfed it heaps, and it's good for like, yeah, small grovelly waves, um, but it can hold on the rail too, it doesn't slide out all the time, and, but it feels good doing airs on it and stuff. You can kind of ride it at hollower waves as well, and it's like super strong and like doesn't, pressure ding at all really and it's got a real nice wax job on it which is pretty good and then this is a Rod Dahlberg this is kind of new I haven't really ridden it much but I'm just really excited to ride it it's got these pretty crazy channels on it that Dahlberg's pretty famous for and yeah these are the medium Dahlberg saw fins I've never ridden a board with channels before, but I found like it just had the craziest squirt off the bottom and drive and it felt really good in, in the tube. So yeah, this is the drag board. Um, Drag's a bodyboard company. Owned by bodyboarders, ran by bodyboarders, and uh, this is the second run of it. I don't know, I just love to have something that you can take on a trip and just be able to have fun on. And, I don't know. You know, you just kind of fuck around. And I really actually like surfing this board. I actually ride it probably more than I should. But it's just fun, you go so fast on it, and it just, it's just another um, you know, cool feeling you can get from surfing. We did like this pretty crazy swallow tail thing on it. We kind of wanted to make it into like a flying guitar, kind of like with the wings out the back. And then this is a Big Sky Limited board shaped by Bo Foster up in a secret place in the mountains. And it's pretty crazy design. And as you can see, Bo's got really, really nice handwriting. And this is his 47th board um, that he's shaped. He's shaped a few boards since then, but this board goes really, really good. I took it to Indo and it just, it's got these really skinny little rails that are just so tiny and it just sort of never feels like it's gonna slide out or anything. I don't know, it just has this squirt and lively feel. It was real crazy watching him get into shaping because he just took to it like so quickly and was just already like pumping out boards that like went really well. And Mish did the paint job. Thanks Mish. Little weed leaf. Kiss. All the good stuff. And then this one is uh, the first Dahlberg I got. Um, I also got a 6.3 but I sadly snapped it in West Oz. I took this to Indo and surfed it in the, um, like the Creed part or whatever, the globe thing. Um, and it went really good. It was like four, five foot with the old bigger one and, and it just held in like, I don't know, no tomorrow.
just look at them and you just really want to ride it. Like, I know, I get really excited. I think I've watched too many Oki videos and yeah, it's definitely my favorite board. I've kind of wrapped it up in cotton wool since the Globe edit, um, just because I love it so much and want to just surf it in good waves. But yeah, it's kind of my favorite board. And then this board, this is a Mick Low board. Well, it's a Bushman, but it's shaped for Lowy. As you can see, shape for Lowy. 7.6, Bushman. I went down to Lowy's house a couple months ago and we had a couple beers and we were in the boardroom and we were just talking. He was just telling me stories because I asked him to tell me heaps of stories about, you know, when he was on tour and when he was younger. And he was just telling me all these stories about surfing pipe and, you know, this board and that board. and. And then he like we had a few more beers and he's like, oh, you, you should have one. You're like, you got to have one. And I was like, no, nah, I can't have one. And then he, uh, he was like, no, nah, take this one. And I was like, all right. And I was like, I don't know where I'm going to ride this around home. But yeah, so I got this board, which is pretty cool. Pretty stoked to have a lowy board in my quiver and a Bushman too. Pretty iconic. And then this is a little Ellis board, Ellis Ericsson design. He's been doing a lot of edge stuff with uh, George Greeno and Andrew Kidman, but this board doesn't have an edge on it. It's got a hard edge on it, but not a crazy scooped out rail and stuff. And um, I was real keen to get like a real fun summery kind of board that you can just take out when the waves are just dog shit and you can just, you know, flap about and have some fun. And I think it's 5'8" and uh, it's got this little crazy sort of egg nose on it. And yeah, it's heaps of fun. So yeah, that's it.